Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is the third leading cause of death worldwide. It kills over 3 million people, predominantly in low- and middle-income countries, and it remains the seventh leading cause of poor health worldwide. The mainstay of treatment has relied on bronchodilators and steroids, but could monoclonal antibodies prove to be a game-changer? This is Euphoria News, broadcasting from London. Hello and welcome to Euphoria News, I'm Dr David Bull. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is a progressive lung disease characterised by long-term respiratory symptoms and airflow limitation. Patients suffer from shortness of breath and a cough which may or may not be productive of mucus. Now, it's an umbrella of diseases, the two most common conditions being emphysema and chronic bronchitis. In emphysema, the alveoli walls break down, resulting in permanent damage to the lung tissue. Chronic bronchitis, however, is defined as a productive cough that is present for at least three months each year for two consecutive years. The most common cause of COPD is tobacco smoking, but other risk factors include indoor and outdoor air pollution, including the burning of coal and wood, exposure to dust and occupational irritants, and genetics such as alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Now treatment is complicated and it relies on bronchodilators, anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, anticholinergics and leukotriene modifiers. But a new paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine looked at the use of monoclonal antibodies in patients with type 2 inflammation. Well, here to tell us more is Professor Klaus Rubber. He is Professor of Pulmonary Medicine at the University of Kiel and Director of Lung Clinic at Grossheimdorf in Germany. Thank you very much for joining me. Can you start by talking us through this study? Now, you looked at using dupilumab in patients with COPD, with type 2 inflammation. Talk us through the study itself. Well, thank you, and thank you for having me. Uh, this is... Um a big trial that was published some weeks ago in the New England Journal of Medicine. And it is a trial that indeed addresses the question whether a, a novel therapy, dupilumab, which is a monoclonal antibody directed against a certain form of inflammation, would work in COPD. What is remarkable about this? Well, it is remarkable that so far we have been using primarily bronchodilating drugs and in health corticosteroids as the main anti-inflammatory principle. And we've done this for most patients with COPD. The new trial is trying to address a certain, if you want, subtype of the disease, individuals with a certain form of inflammation coined type 2 inflammation. Type 2 inflammation is primarily known from non-COPD inflammation. It's known in the asthma field. Uh, and it is describing a form of inflammation that has particular inflammatory cells, eosinophils, and has some biomarkers, for example, exhaled nitric oxide um, and sometimes also elevated IgE levels as a hallmark of the inflammation. And what is novel next to using a unusual medication for the disease is that we stratified individuals with COPD for a certain subtype characterized by this form of inflammation, and that's the first time we've done this in that context. I'm actually uh, reading the study here and, and the conclusions themselves, uh, and they are, they are really extraordinary, actually. Those patients who received dupilumab had fewer exacerbations, better lung function, and better quality of life. You, mu you must be pretty pleased. Well, personally, as a researcher, yes, you're pleased because you ask uh, a thousand individuals to take part in a clinical trial. And if you do something sensible in your own me uh, feeling and in the reviewer's uh, opinion, uh, yes, we're pleased. But uh, uh, very seriously, I think it is it's very interesting because, first of all, it is in individuals with COPD that are significantly sick. I mean, these are uh, patients that are on proper therapy, triple therapy, almost all of them, they had an 
one bronchodilator, a second bronchodilator, and an anti-inflammatory therapy with steroids, and they still were symptomatic, and they still had exacerbations despite their treatment. And if you add to this proven efficacious medication of a triple therapy, this drug, which is a monoclonal antibody against a certain cytokine pattern, you will actually afford benefit in three domains. That is the exacerbations, very important for patients' well-being and, and reducing risk. It improves lung function further and people benefit symptomatically. So I was pleased, but I was also honestly a little bit surprised about the clear signal that we got from the study that in all the domains that we anticipated it hopefully would be working on, it did work on. And that, in fact, was next enjoyable, um, positively surprised. Mm. So, so where do we go from here based on your study and the results that you found? Uh, how does this data, I suppose, using dupilumab, how do you think it will revolutionise care in patients? Can you extrapolate? Well, you could, could try to extrapolate from this because I think there are, there, there, are several, there are several aspects that I think that are important for practical medicine. First of all, the disease COPD um, has obviously different columns of what we call endotypes. So the majority of individuals are characterized by leukocytic, leukocyte inflammation, and the minority is the group that we looked at. We think from epidemiology, 20 to 40% of individuals will have this form of type 2 inflammation. So lesson one from the study, doctors characterize the inflammatory endotype of your CPD patients to see whether they are candidates for it. Second, use the drug in individuals that are symptomatic, they have exacerbations and they are under appropriate therapy because that is the group that we studied. Three, since the data are so convincingly positive in the trial, let's think about other inflammatory endotypes with other means to actually change outcomes in individuals to improve care in COPD, a disease that is frequent, highly symptomatic, characterized by many exacerbations, and ultimately a disease that kills very, very many people worldwide. Very much so. Very true words indeed. Very exciting. Thank you so much for your time. That's Professor Klaus Rubber. Thanks for having me. Now, you can find more information about Euphoria and also register for the Euphoria educational events on the euphoria.eu website, where you can also sign up to receive the latest news via email. And don't forget to follow us on social media on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, goodbye.